I didn't do it, and I wasn't involved in it. Um, but I think um, I think what they're doing is I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into into doing things later later in life. What are you talking about? <laughs> parlayed? What? I, did you not see Roots? Did you not read it? What the? Okay. <laughs> I'll just outlet the view all white people continue to reap the benefit of slavery. I don't know if you have seen this segment, but I will not play the video long because sometimes I get irritated. According to this article, I recently came across Destiny and ABC. The view was flooded with racism again, reacted. To Florida adopting new standards for their black history courses and push misinformation pardon. I didn't do it and I wasn't involved in it. Um, but I think um, I think what they're doing is I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into into doing things later later in life. What are you talking about? <laughs> parlayed what? I, I, did you not see Roots? Did you not read it? What the? Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just, I'll, let me throw it to y'all before I get in trouble again. I, I'm, you know, I live in Florida. Uh -huh. I have been spitting mad uh, about the culture wars that Ron DeSantis has been creating. So when he says that he has nothing to do with it. of lackeys and minions to put that legislation into effect. He has created the environment that has led to this. What they say is that the, up, the updated standards now say that enslaved people develop skills that could be applied for their personal benefit. Slavery was the darkest moment of American history, yeah. our biggest shame. People got torn from their homelands. Men, women, newborns put in the bowels of ships, shackled have made to row from Africa to America, then brought here and sold off like chattel, separated from their children, beat, whipped, worked to death, raped. How dare you? Shame on you people in Florida. How dare you try to whitewash slavery? And to the commissioner of education in Florida, Manny Diaz, a Cuban-American, that is like saying that there's a redeeming quality to Cuban political prisoners under Castro. Yeah. When you don't have freedom, you don't have anything. And for this man, Ron DeSantis, who's apparently his only skill that he has acquired, is lying and creating culture wars that he thinks are going to make him president. Yes, when Kamala Harris realized this was getting attention, she has been touched on CNN for what she said in Florida. Immediately, she tweeted that it is unnecessary to debate whether enslaved people benefited from slavery. Let us not be distracted by what extremists are trying to do, which is to create unnecessary debate to divide our country. Let us stand together for what we know is right. This is what Kamala Harris sent out on Twitter. It is concerning to realize how this topic is still coming back to say these people benefited, this man said this, this is actually crazy. I think I did a full segment pertaining to this where a lot of black people actually got angry when this started. Extremists, so-called leaders, for months have dared to ban books. Book bans in this year of our Lord, 2023. <laughs> Extremists here in Florida. Pass a law, don't say gay. Trying to instill fear in our teachers that they should not live their full life and love who they love. On top of all of that, they want to replace history with lies. <laughs> Middle school students in Florida to be told that enslaved people benefited from slavery. <laughs> High schoolers.
survivors may be taught that victims of violence, of massacres, were also perpetrators. I said it yesterday. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us, and we will not have it. These issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin, black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, absolutely have equal rights is actually, I, I think it's insulting. Yes, the vice president is spinning Florida black history curriculum. When I saw this video on Twitter, immediately community note put up recently. Fat check what she said. This proof how she lied. There is the insane guy by name. I think he's an influencer to them. This slave personally benefit from slavery like Ron DeSantis and others want you to believe. It's even gross how Republicans try to whitewash and erase our history. Somebody replied this guy immediately, took him to school to educate him. Yeah, I will take this little boy to school. The Republican Party was formed in 1854 by President Lincoln to exclusively combat slavery. To give you an idea how stupid you sound, famous top man was a spy for the Union Army. Now let's see how things step up as far as amendment. 13 amendment abolished slavery supported by 100% Republicans and 23% Democrat. 15 amendment right to vote for all supported by 100% Republican and zero of Democrat. 14 amendment citizenship for freed slaves supported by 94% of Republican and 0% of Democrat. When you look at this, you will clearly see the difference to abolish slavery, Republicans play a vital role. I really want to ask this question. Is it necessary for people to still be fighting, you know, having this debate on slavery? I really don't get it. What your ancestors did is something you should not be singing like a song. I understand race betters will love this because this is the best thing, you know, they used to cash out. Like Sonia Austin, I think I will do a full video pertaining to her own reactions, extremely crazy because her takes on issues has always been ridiculous. She doesn't look at things the way they are. She will always spin around. If they could actually put this woman to be a black, I don't know, maybe she could actually be the founder of Black Lives Matter because of her ways. What did Vice President Harris have to say about this issue? So we saw her uh, not only accuse what she likes to call so-called leaders of pushing propaganda, but she also said that they were willfully misleading children about the impacts and the negative, negative things about slavery as well as other parts of American history. This is a completely made up deal. I looked at the standards. I even looked at an analysis of the standards. I even read the statement of the African-American scholars that wrote the standards. Everybody involved in this says this is completely a fabricated issue. And yet look how quickly Kamala Harris jumped on.